Okay, now we come to Sutta 135, Chula Kamma Vibhanga Sutta, the shorter exposition of Kamma or action. This is a very important Sutta concerning Kamma Vipaka, the very, very important Sutta. Thus have I heard. On one occasion, the Blessed One was living at Savati in Jeta's Grove, Anatta Pindika's Spa. Then the Brahmin student, Subha, today's son, went to the Blessed One and exchanged greetings with him. When this courteous and amiable talk was finished, he sat down at one side and asked the Blessed One, Master Gautama, what is the cause and condition why human beings are seen to be inferior and superior? For people are seen to be short-lived and long-lived, sickly and healthy, ugly and beautiful, uninfluential and influential, poor and wealthy, low-born and high-born, stupid and wise. What is the cause and condition, Master Gautama, why human beings are seen to be inferior and superior? And the Buddha said, Student, beings are owners of their action, heirs of their action. They originate from their actions, are bound to their actions, have their actions as their refuge. It is action that distinguishes beings as inferior and superior. Stop here for a moment. Here, action the, is a translation for kamma. Kamma is intentional action that can be done through the body, speech, and mind. So these few things the Buddha says, Owners of the kamma, heirs to the kamma, etc. is what we chant every day. La. Kamma sakomi, kamma dayado, kamma yoni, kamma bandhu, kamma patisarana. Uh, this one. Uh. So this this uh, Brahmin student Suba is asking the Buddha why people in this world uh, can be seen to be so different. Uh. Some have good qualities, some have bad qualities. La. Uh. It's only an intelligent person uh, will think, uh, will question uh, why people must be like that. Uh, suppose you are born uh, uh, and you have a, a short life, uh, maybe at a young age you have cancer, or all your life you are sick, uh, or you are born ugly, uh, or you are born into a poor family uh, where it's so hard to find a living, uh, uh, or you are born stupid. Uh, 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 then uh, you have reason to ask, uh, why should I be born like that? Uh, then you might want to complain. Uh, if you didn't know, uh, that is your own fault. Uh, that you inherit uh, what you did from the past. Uh. So that's why the Buddha says uh, that beings are owners of their actions, uh, as to their actions. We inherit our actions. Uh, that's why uh, we are born in, in these different ways. Uh. And he said, I do not understand in detail the meaning of Master Gautama's statement, which he spoke in brief, without expounding the meaning in detail. It would be good if Master Gautama would teach me the Dhamma, so that I might understand in detail the meaning of Master Gautama's statement. Then, student, li listen and attend closely to what I shall say. Yes, sir, the Brahmin student, Subha, replied. The Blessed One said, Here, student, some man or woman kills living beings and is murderous, bloody-handed, given to blows and violence, merciless to living beings, because of performing and undertaking such action on the dissolution of the body after death, he reappears in a state of deprivation, in an unhappy destination, in perdition, even in hell. But if on the dissolution of the body after death, he does not reappear in a state of deprivation, in an unhappy destination, in perdition, in hell, but instead comes back to the human state, then wherever he is reborn, he is short-lived. That is the way, student, that leads to short life. Namely, one kills living beings and is murderous, bloody-handed, given to blows and violence, merciless to living beings. But here, student, some man or woman, abandoning the killing of living beings, abstains from killing living beings, with rod and weapon laid aside, gentle and kindly, he abides compassionate to all living beings. Because of performing and undertaking such action on the dissolution of the body after death, he reappears in a happy destination, even in the heavenly world. But if on the dissolution of the body after death, he does not reappear in a happy destination in the heavenly world, but instead comes back to the human state, then wherever he is reborn, he is long-lived. This is the way, student, that leads to long life. 
namely abandoning the killing of living beings. One abstains from killing living beings with rod and weapon laid aside, gentle and kindly. One abides compassionate to all living beings. Stop here for a moment. Uh. So here the Buddha says uh, that if a person uh, frequently kills uh, uh, murderers, uh, bloody handed, given to blows and violence, merciless, uh, uh, such a person uh, normally would go to hell. Uh. But sometimes uh, if for some reason, uh, uh, because of maybe some supporting karma or maybe uh, at the moment of dying, uh, he thought of some good karma uh, and he happens to be uh, born in the human realm, uh, then he is short-lived, uh, just like some children. Uh, they are born uh, when they are one year old or two years old uh, or three years old. Uh, they get cancer, uh, leukemia, uh, and then uh, they, their life will end. Uh. But on the other hand, uh, if a person is compassionate and does not kill living beings, uh, then... Uh, he will have long life. Uh, yes, we can find some people uh, with very long life. Uh. Here, students, some man or woman is given to injuring beings with a hand, with a cloth, with a stick, or with a knife. Because of performing and undertaking such action on the dissolution of the body after death, he reappears in a state of deprivation, etc. But if instead he comes back to the human state, then wherever he is reborn, he is sickly. This is the way, student, that leads to sickliness or sickness. Huh? Namely, one is given to injuring beings with a hand, with a cloth, with a stick or with a knife. But here, student, some man or woman is not given to injuring beings with a hand, with a cloth, with a stick or with a knife. Because of performing and undertaking such action on the dissolution of the body after death, he reappears in a happy destination. But if instead he comes back to the human state, then wherever he is reborn, he is healthy. This is the way, student, that leads to health. Namely, one is not given to injuring beings with a hand, with a cloth, with a stick, or with a knife. Uh, stop here for a moment. Uh. So here, is some people, uh, they are violent in nature. Uh, what we call ngau uh, cheng, gu uh, ke, easily... Uh, stirred up to violence uh, uh, such people uh, because they harm others uh, uh, they beat others uh, with a cloth, with a hand, with a knife etc. then uh, injure others, uh, make others sick, sick uh, then they also become very sickly uh, when they come into the human uh, rebirth uh, uh, you can see uh, some people uh, they Health is very bad from the day they are born until they die. On the other hand, those who don't injure others, you find some people in the world are extremely fit. You see some of these footballers, these people who compete in the Olympics. Strange, you think, how come they are so fit? Here, student, some man or woman is of an angry and irritable character. Even when criticized a little, he is offended becomes angry, hostile and resentful and displays anger, hate and bitterness because of performing and undertaking such action he reappears in a state of deprivation but if instead he comes back to the human state then wherever he is reborn he is ugly this is the way student that leads to ugliness namely one is of an angry and irritable character and displays anger, hate and bitterness but here, student, some man or woman is not of an angry and irritable character. Even when criticized a little, he is not offended, does not become angry, hostile, and resentful, and does not display anger, hate, and bitterness. Because of performing and undertaking such action, he reappears in a happy destination. But if instead he comes back to the human state, then wherever he is reborn, he is beautiful. This is the way, student, that leads to being beautiful. Namely, one is not of an angry and irritable character and does not display anger, hate and bitterness. Stop here for a moment. There are some people uh, very bad uh, temper, uh, uh, easily uh, blows up, uh, becomes angry, hostile, resentful. Uh, such people, uh, when they are angry, uh, they 
have a fierce face uh, and this fierce face is not a, not a beautiful face, uh, it's an ugly face. Uh, and they do that constantly every day. Uh, it, it sets this pattern of the face uh, so that next time they are born they are ugly. Uh. On the other hand, there are some people, uh, they have a very pleasant character. Uh, even when you say something to annoy them, uh, they just smile and laugh. Uh. Uh, those people are very sweet, uh, so they are born very sweet. Uh, uh. That's why we say in Malay, Mukha Manis, uh, uh, sweet face. Uh, also like in English you say, uh, that this, this person, some people are called sugar, uh, 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 because they are so sweet like sugar. Mm. Here students, some man or woman is envious, one who envies, resents and begrudges the gains, honor, respect, reverence, salutations and veneration received by others. Because of performing and undertaking such action, he reappears in a state of deprivation. But if instead he comes back to the human state, then wherever he is reborn, he is uninfluential. This is the way, student, that leads to being uninfluential, namely one is envious. Mm. One is envious, resentful, begrudges the gains, honor, respect, salutations, veneration received by others. But here, student, some man or woman is not envious, one who does not envy, resent and begrudge the gains, honor, respect, reverence, salutations and veneration received by others. Because of performing and undertaking such action, he reappears in a happy destination. But if instead he comes back to the human state, then wherever he is reborn, he is influential. This is the way, student, that leads to being influential, namely one is not envious towards the gains, honor, respect, reverence, salutations and veneration received by others. Stop here for a moment. So some people, they have a very small heart. And because of that, when people get honor, respect, gains means like coming to a lot of money, property, etc. This person is resentful, is jealous. Uh, so such a person because he's small hearted uh, next time he comes back to the human realm uh, then uh, he is uninfluential uh, born into a poor family and uh, even uh, when he grows up uh, uh, he's, he's of no account nobody knows him, nobody wants to know him uh. on the other hand if a person is big hearted uh, and he sees others uh, becoming rich or have a lot of property, or have a lot of uh, respect, uh, I guess some title, uh, dato or something, uh, he's not jealous, uh, he's not uh, resentful, uh, he's uh, happy with others. Uh, uh, such a person, uh, when he comes back, uh, he's influential in life, uh, everybody likes him, uh, uh, he's, he's an influential person. Uh. Here students, some man or woman does not give food, drink, clothing, Carriages, garlands, scents, unguents, beds, dwelling and lamps to recluses or brahmins. Because of performing and undertaking such action, he reappears in a state of deprivation. But if instead he comes back <clears throat> to the human state, then wherever he is reborn, he is poor. This is the way, student, that leads to poverty. Namely, one does not give food, drinks, clothing, carriages, garlands, scents, unguents, beds, dwelling and lambs to recluses of Brahmins. But here, students, some man or woman gives food, uh, drinks, clothing, uh, bedding, dwelling, etc. to recluses of Brahmins. Because of performing and undertaking such action, he reappears in a happy destination. But if instead he comes back to the human state, then wherever he is reborn, he is wealthy. This is the way, student, that leads to wealth. Namely, one gives food, drinks, clothing, beds, dwelling, etc. to recluses or Brahmins. Uh, stop here for a moment. Uh. So, if a person is generous, uh, uh, gives to others what others need, uh, then uh, it's easy to come back uh, to great wealth. Uh, when he comes back as a human being, uh, uh, he, be he is born in a wealthy family, or even if he's not born into a wealthy family, uh, when he works, uh, then he becomes very wealthy. Uh, and here is mentioned, uh, he gives all these things uh, to recluses or Brahmins, uh, uh, meaning uh, monks or ascetics, uh, because uh, uh, 
when a person uh, does charity, uh, if the uh, person he gives to uh, is virtuous, uh, then the, the gift is more meritorious. Uh, there's uh, uh, greater blessings. Uh, uh, and also if the giver himself uh, is virtuous, uh, is also uh, very meritorious. Uh. Also the Buddha mentioned uh, in some sutta that when a person gives, uh, he should be very happy. Uh. Before giving, he should be happy. While giving also, he should be very happy. And after giving also, he should be very happy. And because of his happiness, uh, when the wealth comes back to him, uh, he will be very happy uh, and enjoy the wealth. Uh. Here, students, a man or woman is obstinate and arrogant. He does not pay homage to one who should receive homage, does not rise up or one in whose presence he should rise up, does not offer a seat to one who deserves a seat, does not make way for one for whom he should make way, and does not honor, respect, revere, and venerate one who should be honored, respected, revered, and venerated. Because of performing and undertaking such action, he reappears in a state of deprivation. But if instead he comes back to the human state, then wherever is reborn, he is low born. This is the way, student, that leads to low birth, namely, one is obstinate and arrogant and does not honor, respect, revere, and venerate one who should be honored, respected, revered, and venerated. But here, student, some man or woman is not obstinate and arrogant. He pays homage to one who should receive homage, rises up for one in whose presence he should rise up, offers a seat to one who deserves a seat, makes way for one for whom he should make way, and honors, respects, reveres, and venerates one who should be honored, respected, revered, and venerated. Because of performing and undertaking such action, he reappears in a happy destination. But if instead he comes back to the human state, then wherever he is reborn, he is high-born. This is the way student that leads to high birth. Namely, one is not obstinate and arrogant, etc. And, and honors, respects, reveres, and venerates one who should be honored, respected, revered, and venerated. Stop here for a moment. Uh. In this world, we can see uh, different people uh, that are born in different states. Uh. Some are born in the lowest uh, level of society, yeah, where the family is poor and uh, looked down by others. Uh, on the other hand, uh, you can see some people, uh, they are born uh, maybe into a royal family, uh, becomes a prince or a princess, uh, and even have a chance to become the king or the queen. Uh, so. Why, why so much difference? Uh, this, this is the reason. Mm. It's strange to say, uh, sometimes you can see uh, people come from very low level of society uh, and you would expect them uh, to be very humble, but strangely enough you see some of them still very arrogant, even they are born in a very low, low uh, because of this habit uh, from the past life, uh, being arrogant, uh, uh, not willing uh, to respect others, uh, even when they are born into a low, very low level of society, they still act very arrogant. Habit is still there. Here, students, some man or woman does not visit a recluse or a Brahmin and ask, Prabhu sir, what is wholesome? What is unwholesome? What is blamable? What is blameless? What should be cultivated? What should not be cultivated? What kind of action will lead to my harm and suffering for a long time? What kind of action will lead to my welfare and happiness for a long time? Because of performing and undertaking such action, he reappears in a state of deprivation. But if instead he comes back to the human state, then wherever he is reborn, he is stupid. This is the way student that leads to stupidity. Namely, one does not visit a recluse or Brahmin and ask such questions. But here student, some man or woman visits a recluse or, or a Brahmin and asks, Prabhu sir, what is wholesome, what is unwholesome, what is blamable, what is blameless, what should be cultivated, what should not be cultivated, etc. What kind of action will lead to my welfare and happiness for a long time? Because of performing and undertaking such action, he reappears in a happy destination. But if instead he comes back to the human state, then wherever he is reborn, he is wise. This is the way student that leads to wisdom. Namely, one visits a recluse or Brahmin and asks such questions. Stop here for a moment. You see here, uh, the Buddha says, uh, the way to wisdom uh, is to ask these type of questions, you know. 
Uh, what is wholesome, what is unwholesome, what is blameable, what is blameless, what should be cultivated, what should not, what, what kind of karma will lead to my harm, what kind of karma will lead to my welfare. In other words, uh, all these uh, questions are concerned the Dhamma. So if a person is interested in the Dhamma, he learns things uh, that are pertinent to your well-being, uh, uh, which are the most uh, uh, important important as far as you are concerned. Uh, uh, this is the way that leads to wisdom. Uh. And it's not asking, uh, like for example, uh, other questions like oh, who's the most popular actor in th- uh, actor now? Uh, who's the most uh, beautiful actress? Uh, who's the fastest man in the world? Uh, or sci- uh, questions about science or, or general knowledge. Uh, but it is questions about the Dhamma. Uh, these are important things that we should know uh, in the world uh, concerning uh, uh, Kama Vipaka and all these things. Uh, uh, so, uh, if a person is not interested in the Dhamma, he will be born stupid. In other words, uh, if he doesn't know the Dhamma, he will conduct himself uh, not in accordance with Dhamma. Uh, so, he might be reborn in the animal realm or the hell realm or the ghost realm. Uh, whereas, if a person, uh, he knows the Dhamma, he knows what is wholesome, what is unwholesome, etc. Then uh, he conducts himself according to Dhamma and he will get a good rebirth. Uh, such is a, is a wise person. The student, the way that leads to short life makes people short-lived. The way that leads to long life makes people long-lived. The way that leads to sickliness makes people sickly. The way that leads to health makes people healthy. The way that leads to ugliness makes people ugly. The way that leads to being beautiful makes people beautiful. The way that leads to being uninfluential makes people uninfluential. The way that leads to being influential makes people influential. The way that leads to poverty makes people poor. The way that leads to wealth makes people wealthy. The way that leads to low birth makes people low born. The way that leads to high birth makes people high born. The way that leads to stupidity makes people stupid. The way that leads to wisdom makes people wise. Beings are owners of their actions, student. Heirs of their actions. They originate from their actions. They are born from their actions now. Are bound from their actions. Have their actions as their refuge. It is action that distinguishes beings as inferior and superior. When this was said, the Brahmin student Suba, today's son, said to the Blessed One, Magnificent Master Gautama, Magnificent Master Gautama, Master Gautama has made the Dhamma clear in many ways, as though he were turning upright what had been overturned, revealing what was hidden, showing the way to one who was lost, or holding up a lamp in the dark for those with eyesight to see for. I go to Master Gautama for refuge, and to the Dhamma, and to the Sangha of monks. Let Master Gautama remember me as a lay follower who has gone to him for refuge for life. That's the end of the Sutta. So you see this last part. Huh? This uh, Subha huh, is a son of Todea. Todea is mentioned in the previous Sutta as one of the very prominent uh, Brahmins. Huh? Uh, wealthy and very knowledgeable Brahmins. Huh? And this Subha, after le- this uh, Todea son, huh, Subha, after learning the Dhamma from the Buddha, uh, he took refuge in the uh, Buddha, Dhamma and Sangha, that means he became a Buddhist. Uh, so, uh, the Buddha, during his time, uh, um, led many people uh, from different religions uh, into Buddhism. Uh, so, I'll stop here for tonight. Uh, if you have any things to ask or to discuss, uh, you can discuss. If you would say uh, these natural disasters, uh, I believe these natural disasters have occurred uh, all the time. Uh, in, in the world. If we go back into the past, uh, we find, for example, uh, like now we're comparing tsunami, uh, we think tsunami is terrible, but years ago, uh, you had uh, 
uh, this uh, volcanoes uh, erupting uh, like Krakatoa uh, in Indonesia many years ago erupted. Uh, they had also or, or also caused a tsunami, except that uh, people have forgotten about it. Uh. And there were periods uh, which were worse than what is happening now. Uh. For example, the dinosaurs uh, were wiped out from the face of the earth uh, because of this uh, calamity. So it has happened all the time. Uh. For example, you look into the history of China. And so much uh, suffering, uh, much worse than now. So what we are experiencing now is very mild compared to before. So don't think uh, it has to do due to karma. The world is such, the Buddha says, uh, because of impermanence, uh, the world is suffering. So that's the nature of the world. You cannot change the nature of, world, of the world. Uh. All you can change is your own self. Uh. When you change yourself... Uh, and you progress in the Dhamma, you become a happy man. No matter what happens outside, nah, you are happy. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a combination sometimes, uh, uh, and uh, if you understand the working of karma, you know uh, that even when uh, disasters occur, uh, if your karma is good, uh, you won't suffer so much you know, as somebody uh, whose karma is, is, is worse. No? But if a uh, particular place, uh, they frequently suffer uh, and suffer a lot, uh, there could be that their karma is bad. Uh. Uh, mm. So don't think about this. Uh, uh. It's not so important. Mm. Mm. Okay, can we end here?